Hey everybody, it's Brittany Blackman here from Breathe Easy Rentals and today I wanted to go behind the scenes of a professional property manager and discuss one of those little decisions that we're faced with uh, that make a big impact on our business. So this one's pretty fun. Uh, we're going to talk about sponges today. So um, again, if you watched any of my other quick series, you guys know that I'm a professional property manager here in the Florida Panhandle, and I've been in this industry for over 10 years, recently started my own business. Uh, in starting my own business, there's a lot of decisions that I'm faced with, and it's pretty funny, even having the experience, uh, I don't think about these new things that I, that I have to make these decisions on until I'm faced with them. So uh, hopefully this little video will help you guys out, whether you are a professional property manager or even an individual homeowner renting your own home. Uh, again, these are all little things to think about. So one of my main focuses with Breathe Easy Rentals is how do I provide awesome amenities that guests really enjoy. Uh, you know, one focus that I had, not that I'm out hugging trees all the time, uh, but I do like sustainability. I like to take care of Mother Nature and, and try to give back to the universe what we take from it. Uh, so one of these things is how do we have less waste when guests stay? Um, and it boiled down to a simple, uh, you know, idea of the sponge in the kitchen. Everybody loves a sponge. You know, a lot of properties have dishwashers, but sometimes you just wanna, you know, do a quick hand wash and be done with it. Um, and so not having a sponge in the property uh, kind of creates a little, uh-oh, barrier, how am I gonna wash this? So uh, on the market, you know, there's two or three of the things that I think are most common. Uh, you have the wrap sponge. So uh, the advantages uh, of a wrap sponge is you know when someone uses it, because you leave this in the property wrapped, they obviously will unwrap it to use it. When you go in to clean upon departure, you found that it's been used and you discard it. Um, so now we have two pieces um, of trash here. We have plastic and now we have the sponge. They cannot or should not uh, be reused every single time. So, um, you know, these are generally a little cheaper option, but they're gonna go um, and, and be a continuous quote unquote waste of funds as your business progresses. Uh, another option is you can just go for a simple sponge. You don't have to worry about it being wrapped. Uh, generally, this will be your cheapest option, uh, but the unfortunate situation with these is that you have no idea if the guest used it. So as the cleaner, you walk in and I guess you could smell it, but nobody wants to do that. Uh, you could check for it, see if it's been used, but you really have no idea if this sponge is sanitary, uh, what is, what's, what, have they cleaned anything with? You have no clue. Um, so that's, that's one of the biggest downfalls I have with sponges like this um, is it's a surefire way that after every single use or every single stay, even if it's not been used honestly, you're gonna wind up discarding this for sanitary reasons. So I did a little research. Uh, both these options are decent, not really what I wanted to go with, and I wound up doing, um, again, a bunch of research on Amazon and came across something that really caught my attention. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos too, you've uh, heard about the book direct movement. Well, I like to shop direct. Uh, so I like to go onto the big retail websites and figure out who these companies are and go directly to their website. Generally, you're gonna get better customer service. Most of the times you get better prices. Uh, and I just like dealing with the, the humans that have created uh, whatever it is that I'm buying. So I, I like that connection. Um, so again, I, I get on Amazon and I find uh, this item. I'm like, oh, this is pretty interesting. So I reach out um, and little did I know that this was a silicone scrubber created by Tiltra. So this is um, a woman inventor. Uh, she's a small business owner and she has a magnificent family, a military spouse, and she was really struggling almost, you know, in just a day-to-day -day life of this whole sponge debacle uh, and created these awesome silicone scrubbers. So one thing that I love um, is that these things come in all sorts of awesome colors. She has some cool tie-dye ones. There's some nice soft pinks and some teals. Uh, I chose the gray because that's one of our main Breathe Easy colors. We like the neutral and the calm. 
Um, and so these things are awesome, y'all. You have this little back strap where you can put your hands in and scrub it up, dub. Um, and then, of course, on the front side, you have a little scraper area, and then you have your actual bristles here. Um, so, you know, a couple, there's so many things, but a couple things that I really enjoy about these, um, they are free of bacteria, mildew, stain resistant. They can withstand up to about 440 degrees Fahrenheit, so they're, they're pretty durable. They're dishwasher safe, so when a guest comes in and stays, I can throw this in a dishwasher when they leave, and it's cleaned and sanitized for the next guest who's coming in. Um, they're not abrasive, so not only are these guys great in the kitchen if I'm, you know, scrubbing a dish or anything like that, uh, but also for the walls or, you know, anything that I'm like, oh gosh, you know, I spilled something on the coffee table, I can go and take this and quickly um, scrub it up. So. You know, again, um, I'm super excited to team up with Tiltra, have these in all of our properties. Um, she has been absolutely, the owner has been absolutely amazing to work with. Highly, highly recommend these products. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, they're expensive. They're they're much more expensive than your, your classic sponges here. Um, but after a few uses, honestly, this will pay for itself. Um, and the nice thing is I've had a couple guests that say, oh my gosh, I love this so much and they get to take it with them. They send me a couple bucks to help pay for it, and then they get to take it home. Uh, I've got plenty of inventory to restock, but you know that sustainability feature to me is very important, so it's not just waste, waste, waste after every guest day. So I um, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, again, it's all these little decisions, y'all, that really come into play when you are choosing a property manager or, again, even if you're an individual homeowner, you know, trying to make these decisions of what do I provide for my guests and my owners? What kind of experience are they going to have? You know, what kind of amenities do I provide for them? All these things add up. So, hope this was a little helpful for you guys. Um, hope y'all enjoyed the behind the scenes, and we'll catch you next time.